Good morning, guys. Come on in. This is Deb with Art and Grace, and we are going to paint this colorful, happy little dolphin today. I've got my coffee. You guys let me know if you are still drinking coffee today, or maybe it's later where you're at if you're on the East Coast. Come on in and say hello, and let me know if you can see and hear me okay. I am pulling it up right now. This is my segment for Craft Around the Clock. And I'm happy to be here this morning with you guys. Hi, Andrea. Hi, Carrie. Glad y'all are here. Let's see if we can see the whole painting in, in our view here. It is such a fun one. You guys know I love fun, happy colors. It's my thing. And this is a really, really... We, we're going to make this a real easy one for us today. And although this is technically what I'm calling a kid's painting, we know that us grown-ups like painting fun, happy things too. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Sydney. Hello, sweet Tracy. Good morning. Um, we've got a fun day. Hello, Levada and Donna. Thank you guys for sprinkling. I thought so, Cheryl. I'd just like to make sure. Good. Thank you for telling me. Hi. Um, yes, Carrie, of course you can do it. Listen, I love teaching step-by-step, step, so I will be probably going a little fast if you are a new painter, but I promise you can just watch the replay and pause it and then kind of catch up, pause it again, you know, and, and you will be able to do this. Hi, Stephanie. Good morning. Hello, Vicki and Kim. Good morning to you guys. Kim, I saw you got an Alzheimer's art kit. I'm so happy to get that shipped to you today. Hello, Dana. Cynthia, good. I'm glad y'all like it. Aw. Oh, are they? Oh, girl, you've got to let her paint it. So if you go, um, let's see. Let me think where that link is. Okay, I made an event for this. And I should have put the link in here, y'all. I'm sorry. Uh, but I made an event for this. If you go to the event on my page, there's a link to get the tracer. And you'll be able to print it out. Um, it looks something like this, although I did change it a little. I did put the sun on it. This is this was my original, and then I changed it. So anyway, you'll be able to print that out and let her color your kids or grandkids color, paint, whatever you guys want them to do. So here we go. I'm going to pop that somewhere. Maybe y'all can still see it a little bit. I am painting on um, just a wood panel today and I plan to put this into a frame and I think it'll be really cute. Let's see. But I do have these available. They're art kits and it's a solid piece of wood and it comes with the hanger and the jute. So either one you want to use or you could put something else on there totally. So if you want to get an art kit then you know that would come directly to you or your grandkids or whoever but let's get started is everybody ready is anybody happen to try to paint along with me today let me know if you are but for this painting you're going to need a flat brush so something that has the flat bristles on the edge you're going to need a round brush and i like a smaller size for this painting small to medium this is a number seven but anywhere from a four to an eight would work thank you vicky for sprinkling the paint um and then this is a detail brush that we'll use for some of our details and then any kind of rough like boar's head this is considered boar's head or a, i just call these like a stubby scruffy brush or if you've got an old paintbrush that you have set aside because it's all gross, those are great to do some of our details, what I call scrubbing. So like where you do this with it. So I'll show you guys exactly what we're going to do with those. But those are the ones that I'm going to be using. Thank y'all for the hearts. It's so good to be with y'all this morning. Hi, Susan. Thank you, Deb, for sprinkling. You guys, this is a segment for Craft Around the Clock. So be sure that you are in that group. I did not I just realized that I didn't put the link in my uh, post but I'll go back and add that at the end but you can do a search for craft round the clock and find it really easy so we're gonna start with our background I am hi Kim hi Cheryl I'm gonna take a little bit of blue it does not take much y'all just a little bit so that should be plenty and then a lot of white so for my background I'm just doing that pretty blue you can definitely use a blue but 
I like to a lot of times I don't even know why I just mix my blue and my white and make my own ready ready Freddy okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that flat brush and I'm gonna mainly go into my white and I'm gonna load it up so when you're loading your paintbrush especially when kids are loading their paintbrushes you don't you want to teach them not to go all the way to the ferrule that that part right here where it holds the bristles in but just get it worked into the actual bristles so back and forth back and forth pressing pressing and getting that paint loaded into the brush and that way you'll get a lot of paint loaded in good morning carol how are you how's everybody today hi darlia good to see you hi liz liz how are you feeling girl i've been a little worried about you little little dot of the blue so it doesn't take a lot it's it's going to really take over if we're not careful so back and forth all the way across all the way from one side to the other i have already sealed my wood with some multi-purpose sealer i use deco arts multi-purpose sealer for that and that way the paint doesn't go down into the wood it will sit on top and it gives it a nice base for our painting so um if anybody does purchase one of the art kits from me if it's a wood art kit like this one then you get that sealer i give you a packet of the sealer to use in on yours so it comes with the wood the sealer the paint comes with a couple of paint brushes um well just everything you need to make this project so it just it's really for convenience you know a lot of you are going to have the supplies already but maybe you want to send it to a grandchild and you know they've already that or they don't have everything that you have or maybe you just want to treat yourself and not have to go looking for all the supplies yourself you know it just makes it convenient i do the sides now on this one in particular i don't have to because i know i'm going to put this in a frame but I always bring my designs when I'm doing canvas onto the sides or wood so like this one is the front or the wood that you would get and so I do bring it onto the sides and I just think it looks cute when it's hanging on the wall so that's my habit is to go ahead and do the sides and I'm gonna do a little more and come down about that's about right you know you can go as far as you want to on the background as far down but I try to do between a third and a half somewhere in there so did y'all tell me if you're still drinking coffee or are you done with your coffee for the day sometimes I well I really like to just take my time and have my coffee in the morning and sit outside for a little bit like 10-15 minutes usually and then I'm hot and come in but I didn't do that this morning so I'm still drinking okay so I think that looks good for our sky just a light blue still drinking Roxy says Kimberly's drinking yet yeah, Marina you're oh y'all do y'all see what I just picked up to take a sip of no no <laughs> Oh, Liz, bless you. You've had so much trouble. Okay, take your paper towel and just squeeze all that paint in there. And that will keep your paint water less murky. You know that if I had just put that in there, all that blue paint would be in my water. Now, there's still blue paint up in my brush, but it's much better if you, um, you know, clean it off in your paper towel before you put it in there. It'll keep your water cleaner longer. So that's just a little tip. Arla, good morning. You're on your second cup. Now, I am going to take, oh, let me get my Bahama Blue out. This is what I use a lot for my um, for summer paintings. It's kind of a staple for me, Bahama Blue. I always have at least a couple on hand. Um, it's the perfect summer color, y'all. So when I'm really feeling like I need a beach vacation or you know you'll see lots of paintings with this Bahama blue I do too Linda Sue I love coffee when I when I hear people say no I don't drink coffee I just get up and drink you know water or whatever I'm like what I know we're all different but I I love coffee I love the taste I love the smell 
course it helps me wake up, or at least it's a mental thing. I don't know if it really does. Sometimes I think my husband probably slips in decaf and I don't even know it and I just think it helps me. So again I'm doing the thing where I go back and forth loading up this brush because I want a lot of this darker blue and that's going to be my horizon line at, so I get a crisp line for my water. So I'm going to take it. Now you can use your tracer there will be a line on that tracer but I'm going to take it and just go across this entire background as careful as I can to get a straight line and it doesn't have to be perfect that's the thing about these whimsical paintings that I love is nothing has to be perfect these are for fun and to help us relax and guys I beg of you to get creative with your kids and grandkids so there probably are not any or, or a few kids on here with us today it's going to be mostly moms and grandmoms so I just know what art does for me and what art, art does for the people that I know. So if it can help us relax and get creative and have fun and build our self-confidence, we know it will do that for kids. So teach them and, and paint with them and, and get them to be creative and don't criticize your work. So as you're painting, don't say, oh, this looks terrible. This doesn't look good. Don't say that because then we're teaching them to say it. So I'm taking that brush and just kind of kind of give it about an inch of this dark blue. So if you notice, I did my line straight up and down. So I held my brush straight up and down. And then I kind of drug it, drug it down a little bit, right? Drug it down. And then I can go ahead. So that way you get a really clean line here. So now I've got a really good line of that dark blue. And I'm going to go right into my aqua. I'm not cleaning my brush and put that right here and kind of work it up into this blue and come back down and it's working that blue down into that aqua. So now we've got a really pretty dark blue that's got some of that aqua in it and just kind of work it up. But I'm going to not touch that line. I'm going to try to leave that line crisp. So my brush kind of comes up close but it really leaves that line. I'm going to grab more aqua, come down here and just work my way down the board. See that? Grab more aqua, come down. So now it's getting lighter as we go down, but I haven't cleaned my brush. I'm still, it's still got some of that blue in here, but it just gives you a really natural progression down into this lighter color. Let's see. Hi, Tricia. Hi, Jermaine. Oh, Whimsical makes me so happy. And I think it does, especially kids, but a lot of us, a lot of us adults like Whimsical. Now, it doesn't mean I don't appreciate everything. I love fine art, but I can't do fine art and relax. I tried, and it was frustrating for me. So if you have, you know, a lot of people will say, oh, I just... I can't paint. I get so frustrated. I think it's because we try to do fine art and maybe aren't ready for fine art. Or maybe it's just not even our style. Because fine art is particular and you do have to know a lot of, you know, techniques. But this is whimsical art. If we want to paint a dolphin pink and green, we can. You can't do that in fine art. <laughs> so... Um, try this fun art and see if it will help you relax like it does me. Um, I really got back into painting. Ooh, I didn't mean to do that, but let's go with it. So anytime you make a mistake or do something you really didn't intend on, you just go with it. Take your brush. I got a little water and I'm just going to blend that back in. So no big deal. Don't panic. See how we blend it in and it is totally fine. I was trying to do my side and just kind of touch that front. So let's kind of be a little more careful and get that side done without bringing it to the front. I just want some color on it. That's all. Whimsical is what you do. You paint rock. I love painting rocks. And that's a great activity for kids in the summer, especially when you teach them to take them somewhere and drop them off and hide them, you know. Um, that is teaching them the act of service and giving and surprising people with, with random acts of kindness. So 
you know, gosh, that's a fantastic idea for moms and grandmoms to do. Well, anybody, but you know, anybody. But I, I'm thinking particularly schools out. We have kids with us more than we normally would. Um, sometimes you may have some dumped on your last minute. And so it doesn't hurt to have a few things that you can say, hey, let's do this art kit or hey, let's paint this rock, you know, so pick up a few things and have them on hand. I think art is great for birthdays and birthday parties and I used to do in-person paint parties and they had so much fun having an art party and it's kind of different. I don't know now, it's been a long time since I've done them in person, but um, people weren't doing a lot of that, so that was a cool party. The kids loved it. Okay, so we've got a really beautiful background. We've got our light blue sky. We've got our ocean. I'm going to dry this. It does me too, Elizabeth. I have so wanted a beach vacation. And so painting all these whimsical summer paintings just helps me feel like I'm at the beach. Where's my happy crab? I wanted to show you all that while I'm drying, but I don't see what I've done with him. Oh, there he is. This is my favorite happy. I called it happy crab because every time I glance over at it, it makes me smile. So as you can see, I love bright colors. They literally make me happy. So try it if you haven't. Now I love, I'm having a hard time reaching. I love all kind of things, but even in my regular art, uh, it's colorful. So colorful is just what I do. I know that crab is so fun. Hi, Dina. You're so sweet. Thank you. I'm glad y'all like it. Thank you, Susan, for the stars. Oh, good. Marina, you do? That's awesome. I hope everybody will take pictures and post them, you know. I know sometimes you want to wait till you get back so that people don't go break in your house if they know you're gone. <laughs> But I love, I'm one of those that loves looking at your vacation pictures because I get to live through them. So this is what we're painting if you just popped on. We've got our background, our blue. We've got our ocean. Now, this is all detail. We'll add in a little bit. But let's get our dolphin on here. Now, if you have a piece of carbon paper, that's a great way to get your dolphin or, you know, whatever you're, you're doing on your design. But if you don't, it's no big deal. Get a pencil and you're just, you can see the marks or the lines through your paper. Just scribble on that line. And when we trace it onto our board, that this carbon from the pencil will stay on our canvas. Or in this case, our wood substrate. So this is a great way to do it. You don't have to go buy carbon. This is the old-fashioned way that we used to do when I was little. And you really just need to hit that, the big spots, you know, just. And then you can put that dolphin anywhere. So I'm going to have him. Now your tracer will have, this is not it, but it will have like a line for the water. It will have a sun up here. I changed it a little bit. So you can have that dolphin, you can turn the paper and have him go in any way you want to really. So you don't have to stick with what I have. But I think I'll have him something like this. Okay, so then once you press on the lines, he should be there when I remove this. I thought about showing y'all how to draw a dolphin, but it's kind of a weird shape and it takes a little bit of time, you know, to really get it down. So we're just using a tracer to make it easy. We don't want to have any frustration. We want to have fun. So tracers are awesome. In the VIP group I have, oh, 
I press too hard. Everybody gets a tracer. So everything that I paint, so for this design, it's already in the group. You know, we, they get a tracer for everything I do. And that way they don't ever have to worry about it. It's just there. Okay, there we go. So it's there. Uh, Kenny booked a visit. Oh, Dina, I'm so happy. Can you tell us where you're going or is it a secret? It's okay if it's a secret, but I'm happy. Are you going to Hawaii? If you are, I'm coming in your luggage. You better stuff me in there. I better lose about 100 pounds, though. Caroline, that is okay to be late. Miss Tracy said that we, um, I'm the last one for the day because the Chuffed Berry Circle and Craft Around the Clock are co-hosting an event. This is what we're painting for those that just popped on. And so I'm the last presenter for Craft Around the Clock until the event this evening. So we are okay on time, luckily. But I'm still, I'm not going to take very long. This is a very easy painting that you can all do. Okay, I'm, I've got my white on my uh, palette. I'm going to put out a little bit of black because I'm going to show you guys what this looks like if you just want to paint a regular dolphin. Because not everybody's going to want a colorful, happy dolphin. Some people want a regular dolphin. So just, you've got a lot of white here. Take that white. You don't need hardly any black. We're going to take just a touch and mix with that white and just mix, mix. Now I do recommend using a craft stick or a palette knife to mix. So you don't do this to your brushes because see what I'm doing? I'm just pushing them all around and it's really not ideal for our brushes. But you know, I still do it just like I say what's best, but then I, I still do what y'all do and use my brush. But anyway, we're going to get a gray going. I know. Good morning, Denise. And happy for everybody that gets a beach vacation. I just get to see your pictures and, and feel like I'm there with you. I've been looking at Brooke Riley's. So um, she is in Hawaii, and I've really loved looking at all her pictures. She doesn't know me from Adam, but it's been fun. <laughs> Just looking at her picture. <laughs> Hawaii's next year. Gulf Shores. Alabama, right? That sounds great. Okay. I'm going to clean off my brush. We don't need all that paint. And we're just going to get a nice base coat of this gray and color this dolphin in. So just go around the outside first. Super simple with our round brush. This is a number seven but anything will work from about a number four to a number eight. You don't want it too big. We went to Cozumel for our 20th anniversary. That's the only beach trip I've ever had. And um, it was heaven. I just loved it. And we did swim with the dolphins. And it's amazing. If you ever get the chance, you've got to do it. I will never forget that. It was just so special. And can't believe we've never been back. Because I I thought then at the time, I was like, we're doing this every year. This is the best thing I've ever done in my life. But nope. We have not. I'm going to go around his fin. I'm going to leave that fin blank for a minute. So we're just filling it in. So I hope that you guys are seeing that this is easy because a lot of times things that look maybe like, oh, that's so pretty, I couldn't do that. Yes, you can, you can do it. We're just filling in with our gray. And we wanna be those people that teach our kids and grandkids that they can do it. So they can't hear us say we can't do it or that we're not good. They have to hear us say, well, we're gonna try. And if we try a few times, uh, we'll get better. We can do it, right? Okay, so we've got that background done. I'm gonna take a little more white and mix with that gray and do a fin here. Just want it to stand out just a little bit. 
they are really all one color in the wild <laughs> but we want people to see the fins so I'm going to do a little bit lighter just by adding a little bit of white try to change up isn't that the truth Marina that's what my daughter says she's like gosh we have to go more places because there's so many things to see and experience and I'm taking that lighter gray and kind of coming across the top of the dolphin. So that's, you're letting your brush do it, but just kind of brush it across the top. A little more of that lighter color. And come across the top going this way. And that's giving it a highlight. Okay. Now I'm going to take a little tiny bit of black and mix it right here in this one spot to get a little darker gray don't need much that black can make it get real dark real fast and then this will be our shading color that will kind of come across the bottom and I just kind of blend it in gently with what's at the top so see you're just letting your brush kind of blend it in yeah it'd be fun to do a 50 state tour wouldn't it What is, y'all tell me what your best vacation has been. Like, where have you been that you just think, oh, it was just a dream vacation? Or that you just loved. I mean, it doesn't have to be anything super fancy. Okay, so basically that is how you would get, you know, your dolphin. And then you can continue to, to add some details. Uh, of course, the eye and the mouth and the fin, you know, you can do things too. But that's just your basic. I wanted to show y'all that um, just... For those that don't want a super colorful one. I want to go to Nashville. I cannot believe I've never been to Nashville. I came really close in May. Got sick. Okay, now we're going to do our sun. We're going to let that dolphin dry a little bit. For our sun, we're going to use orange, yellow, and white. And, you know, you don't have to have the colors that I'm using. You can use any brand or any, you know, change it up if you want to. I like deco art because for me the colors are very vibrant and they have a lot of colors that I love so um, they're they're the most opaque of the paints that I've tried you know a lot of them are kind of runny and these are not so that's why I like them oh let's do let's do take a girl's trip somewhere fun that's something I would just love to save for. It would be, it would be so fun to have a something to work for, you know. Okay, so I'm going to take that orange and load up my brush. And I'm just going to do, I don't want the sun to all show. I want some of it to kind of go behind. You know how we used to do? And so I'm going in circular motions, just like that. Circular motions for this sun. And then I'm going to pop into my yellow and my white. And just a little bit of white will add and help that yellow not to be so opaque or so um, transparent because yellow just is a transparent color but the adding a little white with it really helps now that's all we're really going to do for now besides we're going to start our little um, you know sun rays I guess and that's just taking those two colors I've got the orange and the yellow on my brush and squiggle squiggle This is a fun painting, so these little squiggles just add to the fun. Now that's all for that. We'll go back over that in a little bit, but let that sit and rest. You love Tennessee? Yes, Pigeon Forge is another one I would like to see. St. Thomas. Oh my goodness, guys. Y'all go to amazing places. I believe that too, Tanya. You know, even, even when you're home with your family, if you're really enjoying in your family you don't have to go you know going is so fun and, and it is good to get away but <clears throat> I love being with my family okay now we're going to paint our fun dolphin so let's get our other colors out now like I said I where's my little guy he keeps disappearing 
Uh, what did, oh, it's because I keep putting him back where he goes. I am using the same colors for my dolphin that I did for my crab. These are kind of my favorite summer colors and I like my art to coordinate. So you can use any colors that you want. And I can uh, put a picture of these colors. I like to take a picture of them and just post it and that way you can see the colors that I'm using. But again, don't forget to get the tracer. You can actually, I do know how y'all can get to it easily. So at the bottom of the screen, there's a link for artgracepaint.com and you can go there, click on the picture. It'll say, get the tracer here and you can um, get that tracer. And then we need some of the Bahama blue. So I'm gonna move it from one palette over here to this other one. That's the colors I'm gonna be using for our dolphin. Hi, Manny. Hola. How are you today, brother? Oh, Marina. That's awesome. <coughs> oh, good, Carrie. I do like to, um, you know, in, in the private group, I will give them um, all the colors that we use. And what I've been doing is putting them on cards, so like this. So I did a mustache painting the other day and I just have my colors and then I put the names of them and so they have the names to all the ones I paint. Okay, here we go. Now, you can, order doesn't really matter. You can use any colors you want to and, and, and in any order, but I'm gonna start by starting at the nose of the dolphin and just kind of going back. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect, but we're just gonna do one long swipe from the nose to the tail. And this is again a round brush. Just like that. And then I'm gonna put the, so I went down the center of the dolphin. I'm gonna go down the center of the fin here. The center of this fin. And the center of this fin. Okay, having this round brush is your key because it's got the little point on it. Um, if your round brush will no longer make a point, you know, sometimes they get old and frazzled, then you need to replace it, but, oh, do y'all, that's awesome. You went for five weeks, see, I'd never come home. I would never, I know I'm missing a ton of comments and I'll go back and read them because I want to know what y'all are saying. Okay, so then I'm going to take it and go into my little aqua color here, the Bahama Blue, and go try to get right up next to that pink without really, I don't really want to touch the pink. If I do, it'll just be barely. Can y'all see? I don't want my hand to be in the way, but I still have to paint it. I, I like this view where y'all can see the painting much better. Okay. And then we're going to run that down the other side. Camping in Kentucky. Oh, I love the good memories. Don't y'all all have a good memory of some trip you took as a family? Road trips were the thing, you know. We, we never did anything but a road trip. Um, and unfortunately for us, it was always to see grandparents. It was never anywhere fun, fun. <laughs> but as a kid, you know, it's fun getting in the car and going somewhere, right? Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the fins where I do a little swipe with the blue, pretty much just using the tip of the brush, a little swipe on either side of the pink. like so. I think that's a great idea, Mar Marina, to do a, a trip as your gift because the memories, oh my goodness. You know, how many times do you think, what did I get for Christmas last year? You can't even remember. But a trip, oh goodness, the memories are forever. So I think that's brilliant. I'm <clears throat> Sorry, I'm going to go back and do the tail in pink. I did forget to 
put some pink in the tail. So I am going to do the whole tail pink and then we'll come back and put our colors on top. But let's just get this whole tail pink. You do not have to do the, t the, the dolphin gray. Uh, that was just so I could show people kind of how it looks if you just want to do a regular dolphin. Um, I wanted to show you all the shading and highlighting. Okay. <clears throat> now we'll add our blue swipes on top. And I'm just putting it on the basically the tip of the brush and we're just going to kind of swipe, 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 swipe like that. Hi, Janice. Thank you. I have had a lot of fun doing all of our sea creatures. We did a, what do you call it, a sea turtle, crab. I've got an octo, I mean, a, what do you call that? A seahorse coming up and a, why am I blank? Is it an urchin, the thing that has the, the kind of that? And then the little hangy things. Why am I blank on that? Y'all help me. You can tell I don't go to the beach. And then here's our green. We'll put our green next. I'm going to put this green right up against the dolphin's, you know, outline. And I may want to add some more aqua here, but I'm going to put this green on first and see. Jellyfish. <laughs> Jellyfish is what I was thinking. I have lots of, I have so many things to do and I have to try to, you know, I would love to just sit and paint them all, all day for y'all, but they're on a little calendar so I don't get ahead of myself. But I'm always like, I can't wait to do that. Hope y'all are seeing how easy these paintings can be when you break them down. That's the key is not getting overwhelmed when you see something and your, your go-to cannot be, oh, I can't paint like that or I couldn't. Of course you can. And I'm showing you how, so you can. And then we're going to put our swipes of green in the tail, just little swipes. You're letting the brush do the work. Just swipe. Oh tail, I mean fins. You can switch to a smaller, like a detail brush here. You know, when you get into these little areas like this, if, it, if you're more comfortable. But I'm literally just using the tip of this brush to kind of get that color on. <coughs> oh, good. Oh, you guys, how fun. I don't have grandkids. It's going to be a while. So I think it, I just can't wait to paint with them. It'll be so fun. And I plan to, you know, teach them that when you're feeling stressed, you get out this little sketchbook grandma gave you and you color, you draw, you paint, and you pray. <clears throat> because it's a perfect combination. Okay, let's see. Now I can just kind of come in here and get this darker pink right in between these spaces. Again, mainly on my tip when I get into these little smaller spots here. And you can go to a detail brush for that. You can also let your colors dry and then you don't have to be so careful. You know, I'm being really gingerly going in here and trying not to mess up. But if you let the, you know, the green dry before you do the pink, then you don't have to worry about that. But. Good. 
Guys, you guys be sure and post what you do. If you paint it or your grandkids paint it, let them post because I'll make a big deal and um, and that will give them some confidence, you know. In fact, it's not that I'll make a big deal. It will be impressive and other people will make a big deal too. So it's just good for us to have a little positive feedback, right? So post it. Let them, let them know your friends want to see it. And then I'm just kind of taking it and doing some wisp, just quick little wisps in here and in the tail, like so. Take a look. <clears throat> Okay, my coffee's cold. Oh, that's okay, Kathy. Anything. Just just get to painting and creating. Hi, Cynthia. So, uh, remember, you can get the free tracer on my website. And you can actually get an art kit that has the wood. And it's like this, this type of wood. With the hanger and everything on it. And the paint, brushes... The sealer that I seal the wood with. The sealer is this one. It's Deco Art Multi Purpose Sealer. And you put it on the wood and let it dry. And that way you've got a nice base to paint on and the paint doesn't soak down into the wood. So now while this dolphin starts to dry, we're going to add to our sun. We're going to basically take this orange and just swipe. Just put some swipes in here. Kind of going around in a circular motion. And because you're using a round brush, it just is the perfect thing. It just makes it really simple. And then if you need more through your squiggles, you can add that. I'm going to go right into my yellow. I'm not going to clean my brush. And put some yellow up into the sun as well. Like so. Okay, now we're going to let that sit. <clears throat> <coughs> oh, Cheryl, thanks. That's the thing. Happy paintings make you happy. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. And see how you remember that? I mean, we do. We, The world is a hard place, so we need encouragement and support, right? So, you know, give it often. Don't hold back. If you see something pretty, take a second. It doesn't take long to say, that is so pretty. I love that. You know, uh, we're all in too big of a hurry. I know when I'm on Facebook, I'm usually doing business and, you know, answering questions or whatever. I get on there to make a post and I'm always in a hurry on Facebook and I need to slow down myself and take a look around and see what's, you know, there's so much beauty that people are creating and putting out there and encourage each other okay let's see I did want to go back I saw a spot on that dolphin that needed a little something he didn't quite I don't know if y'all saw it but this right here I didn't get that blue quite up to the fin okay so that's good now let's let that dry and let's work on our water again this is going to be easy peasy hi Kathy hello hello Sorry that I'm missing some of you guys. I'll go back and look. Oh, hi, Sherry. Listen, some of you are going to see, and there's Simone. Some of you are going to see the little frames around the picture of the Alzheimer's. We have a fun Alzheimer's event coming up on June 17th. It's a Saturday. It will be um, in the Creative for Creatives for Alzheimer's group, as well as Craft Run the Clock. And possibly another group. I need to confirm that. But I'm going to grab another blue because that one is... I just don't need to try to get... The, it's, it's, it's gone. Give it up. Anyway, um, so if you are a creator for that event on the 17th for me, please put in some purple hearts so people know. And um, But you'll see the frames and that's how you'll know they're 
one of our chosen presenters. I'm really excited about it. We are trying so hard to reach our goals. So if you know someone or have someone in your family who has Alzheimer's or has had Alzheimer's, like I, my mother, you know, passed with it. So did her, both of her parents. So it is something I'm real passionate about, not just to raise money, but also to get y'all information. So the Creative for Alzheimer's group is a free group that I do where I put information into Guide 2. And you can go in there and if you're, you know, maybe you know somebody in your family that's showing symptoms, you can go in there and start getting some information. Um, that's just all it is. It's just for information and also we do share art in there, but it is a place for us to host this event really. I'm going to take my detail brush and I thinned out my paint. So I got my blue paint on here and I got my brush really wet so that I could thin it out. And then I'm rolling my brush in it and getting it back into a nice point. It's Creatives for Alzheimer's. And um, you guys go ahead and comment. I see Kathy, I see what you're saying about your mom and I will go back and read them. Uh, because I, I actually truly care. I really have been through so much with my mom and I like to help other women as they're dealing with it with, you know, somebody in their family. So I'm always here for you guys. You can ask me any questions. Um, I have lots of tips, you know, when you go through it, you, you learn the tips. So as you see, I'm just taking this brush with the thinned out blue and kind of making these little squigglies. I don't know what else to call them, but just kind of making it look like waves, right? Just, or just water ripples. And over here where the dolphin is jumping out of the water, we're going to make that a splash. So we're going to start with our darkest color, this blue, and start right up here by the fin and we're going to go whoop. So y'all have to say that with me, whoop, whoop, every time you do it, whoop. And we're just gonna kind of start at the center of his tail and make these little splashes. Doesn't have to be perfect. This one will probably look different than my original and that's okay. That's the thing about art is, you know, there's no reason that they all need to be exactly the same. But this just shows that this is where he jumped out of the water at. So once you get enough that, you know, you think it's good, then stop. And we'll go to another color. <clears throat> okay. So that's our dark blue. Now I'm going to go into my aqua. I don't need to clean my brush. I'm just going to touch down on that aqua. If your paint has gotten thick, then just get your brush wet. and go back in here and then that will thin it out enough that you can do your little swipes easily. And then you're just gonna do again with the little whoops, like so. So my mom um, was my hero. She just was a beautiful human being the best person that I think I've ever known and um, it was really hard to watch her suffer and if you guys know somebody have maybe your family member then you know what I'm talking about it's such a uh, such a terrible disease and so I just beg of you if you're able to give do five dollars or whatever you can because all of us you know add it up it really does add up and I just really want to reach my goal. I want to help the most people and the Alzheimer's Association is a fantastic organization. It's where I got all, almost all of my information that I needed. So you see we just went from dark to medium to the light on color. Just adding these little splash marks, right? <coughs> That's all we've done. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and again, at the bottom of the screen, there should be a link, or you can press the little link mark, and it will take you to our Alzheimer's page, and you could donate if you choose to. But if you do, if you do donate, 
even if it's five dollars, let me know, you know, just message me or put it on a post and say, I want a frame and I will make you a frame with your picture showing you're a supporter. So just like the frame that I have on my little circle, it'll be, you know, the purple frame and show that you're a supporter. And it would be my honor to make of those. I told on another live, I said, I'll, I'll make them all weekend. I'll be happy to do it. I, I just want, you know, to get a good, a good, I want us to reach our goals. I want everybody to. All the presenters have set their own goals that they're trying to reach. And, um, you know, for different reasons, lots of them have family members that have had Alzheimer's or do currently have Alzheimer's. <clears throat> I have a presenter whose <coughs> mother is is uh, in the very early stages and she doesn't know. So, um, you know, we all have a reason for doing this. And so you can't go wrong. I have posted before the graphic of how the Alzheimer's Association uses their funds and it's really amazing. It's like less than, <clears throat> less than 4% goes for administration and business purposes. The vast majority of donations goes directly for research and support for people. So it's really a fantastic organization. Your mom does, Kathy. I'm so sorry. And see, Elizabeth, that's why it's so important to me because it just, you know, um, we just almost all of us are affected now. It's, you know, I don't know if it's things in our food, our microwave, our, you know, who knows? We can speculate all day, but regardless, we've got to, we've got to get awareness out there. I want people to talk about it. I don't want people to hide it. So help us get the word out. I'm now mixing my yellow with just a little bit of white and I'm going to tap a little bit of that onto our sun to really brighten it up going in a circular motion okay uh, every time you're working on that sun you want to kind of have a circular just hold your brush like a like it's doing circles and then I'll add a little bit of that here <clears throat> excuse me y'all into our sun rays just little bits like that and that's it on that we're almost done. Oh, there's Sherry putting our link. Facebook.com. Is this the actual? Yes. <coughs> That's the group. Let me see. Sherry, where's your frame, sister? Pin comment. Okay. Oh, Janice, I'm sorry. That's so... It does, Sometimes it does come quickly, and sometimes they suffer for years. Um... But I, we sure appreciate. So that is the group <clears throat> where I have the information in guide to. And again, it will be co-hosted in Craft Around the Clock. It'll be all day on the 17th. Now I'm going to get some black and we're going to do some details. And we're almost done. Let's get a little tiny bit of black. You don't need too much. Have you guys had fun with this? 97 and sharper than attack. That is amazing. Ron's granddad was like that. He was 100 and now he was obviously declining at that point, but he was sharp for a long time. I'm going to come in here. Now for me, I don't have the tracer that I'm using. I'm just um, but you'll have the tracer if you want to use a Sharpie or something to do your mouth and eye. But I'm just going to come in here and give him a mouth. And I'll use the back of my brush. This one's kind of icky. Let me grab a, a good one. Grab a small brush. One of your detail brushes should have a very small tip right here for the eye. You could do that and just come in here and give it an eye. Thank you, Vivian. How are you today? And then let's give him some outlines. Now, I think it's fun to give these just a whimsical outline. I don't try to outline the whole thing really well. I just kind of do this. Just kind of quickly give it a little, you know, something, something. And it really helps, you know, kind of come to life and frame it. These little whimsical paintings can totally do this black outline really well. 
So just kind of come along and and give it give it that little oh and it's fin. We gotta define that fin or it gets lost right there. See that? So this is his little side fin. Oh, thanks, Kathy. I hope that this has brightened y'all's day. It does me. I love getting here, um, you know, getting to go live with you guys and show you things. And um, I love my private group. That's where, that's why I do, I do what I do here so that I can introduce y'all into what I do and my style. And some of you may want to get in my private group because that's where the fun's at. We have, uh, you know, a great community. And I'm sure many of you are in some private groups, so you know what they're like. And we have sweet ladies that really care about each other. If you're a VIP member, you can put VIP and let people see. That stands for very inspiring people. Not important. We're all important. Um, but these ladies inspire me every day. And so that's what I, how I used it. So see, I'm kind of coming back with some white and adding the white touches like I did the black. We're going to add a little white dot on the eye, just a tiny one, like so. And let me see. I just kind of sit back, take a look, see what I need. Oh, Kathy, that sounds just like what happened to my mama. She, uh, they did an evaluation. She was not a surgery candidate. She was just too, not, she just wasn't. And so that fall really was the end. And it, it's just heartbreaking. I kind of take a look and if it needs something, I just add it. So I'm just kind of coming back in here and adding to that sun. I like that sun to be crazy. So that is really it. And then be sure and sign your painting. You're going to want that someday. You're going to forget. So even if it's in a book or something, go down here and put either your initials or you can actually do your name and a date. Or at least, you know, 2023 or 23 so that you can see your progression. Because it's fun to see how far you can come in just a year. Thank you guys. I'm so glad you like it. If you enjoyed this, please be sure and give me a follow and spread it out so that more people can have the joy that we get out of painting. And I would love to have you guys uh, anytime. Just pop on and say hi to me. But this is it. Let me hold it up. Anybody have any questions that I didn't see? I will go back, but now's a good time I'll, I'll answer any questions for a minute um this is what's in the art kit so if you go on to my etsy shop which is art grace paint pretty much everything if you're looking for me is art grace paint because art and grace is taken everywhere so i had to do art grace paint but anyway um it's a board like this it's a 10 inch board has the sawtooth hanger and the jute it comes with the sealer that you seal the wood with the brushes, paint, so you can create your own. Oh, you're so welcome, Dana. I'm glad y'all enjoyed it. They operated on her hip and then got that. Oh, bless her. It's so heartbreaking. It really is. So I'm just honored to be a part of the Alzheimer's, you know, event and do what I can. <clears throat> So be sure and get that tracer too. It looks something like this. It's not exact, but it's got the, well, it looks like this. This is what it looks like. So go get that. Uh, the kit is, I want to say 22. It's somewhere between 20 and 25. I don't even remember. They're, all my wood kits are the same price, but I don't remember now what price. Somewhere between 20 and 25. Thank you. It's really convenient to get everything in a kit, you know. <clears throat> thank you guys let's see any other questions i don't see any all right guys so i'll be back next friday for another kids painting now even though they say kids uh you can paint it because <laughs> we are kids at all ages 
I mean, I tease my husband all the time, like, are you ever going to grow up? And he's like, I hope not. So, you know. Oh, hi, Marie. So good to see you popping in. Right at the end, though, we're about to go. Oh, Kathy, I'm going to go back and read your comments. But yes, and I'm here. If you ever need to message me, send me a message because I understand. You need people that have been there. You really do. So um, I'm happy to be a sounding board for you. All right, guys, y'all have a great Friday. We will see you this evening as part of the Rip Roar and Western event that is being put on by Ellie's Attic and Shuffberry Circle and Craft Around the Clock. So you be sure and see us then. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye-bye.